if orange is the new black and 40 is the new 30, then I say that coffee houses are the new gay bars. They're where we go to partake of our favorite beverage, hang out, and sometimes hook up. This movie's gonna be fucking awesome. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, that's sweet. That's not true. Of course it's true. I could never have brought this character to life without your help. Oh. I think you underestimate your talent, <laughs> but nobody else will. I wouldn't be surprised if you get a nomination out of this. Oscar does love the gay roles. <laughs> yep. Pretty much, the gays and the handicapped. <laughs> Probably if you played a mentally challenged gay man, you'd have the award sewn up by now. I know, right? I actually talked to the producers about that, but they thought it might be a bit much. <laughs> Seriously? You wanted to make the character retarded? Oh. What, no, of course not. <laughs> We'd never use that word. Besides, I was thinking something more along the lines of bipolar or severe OCD. You know, one of the sexier mental illnesses. <laughs> uh, you know, even after two months, I can never tell when you're joking. I like to be hard to read. It's part of the movie star mistake. No kidding, though. Uh, when we met, I absolutely could not get a read on you. I had no idea if you were gay or straight or into small woodland creatures. What did you finally decide? Well, by the time my dick wound up in your mouth, I kind of had it figured out. Did you? So you bought me as a gay man? Bought you? Yeah. I was believable. Yes. Very. Hold on. Sorry. It's my publicist. I love her, but she will not give me five minutes peace. Uh, Especially not now with these rumors flying around. Well, I hope you know that I had nothing to do with that. Okay, like I was happy to sign that NDA. I would never relax. It was actually my agent leaked those leaked those rumors. Your agent? Yeah, that kind of buzz will help this movie open big. You can't buy that kind of publicity. Oh, apparently you can. <laughs> um, so. Are you thinking about coming out? I mean, no pressure. Uh, I know that when we started seeing each other that your career was... You think it would still be damaging in this day and age for a leading man to come out? Mm, I don't know. Maybe not, uh, but it isn't my call. I mean, if you decided, you know, I would certainly support you. Well, because my agent, he thinks that the whole gay thing is still a non-starter for anybody who opens big internationally. But he thinks that sexually fluid helps in the domestic market and is more or less neutral international. Probably because they have no idea what that means. So that makes it a net win, right? Well, that's awfully cynical. <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood, baby. Um, so are you Planning on coming out as sexually fluid then? Is that why you wanted to meet me tonight? Actually, no. No, if we did that, then we'd have to time it with the movie opening. As I said, I wanted to thank you. Hey. And to say goodbye, of course. 
Are you going out of town? I'm not leaving. You're waking up with me. I would hate for you to take it that way. How am I supposed to take it? I take it as our wonderful time together was always meant to be finite. But why? I mean, if it was so wonderful, then why does it have to end? You see. The thing is, I'm not really attracted to men. Well, you had me fooled. Thank you. That was not a compliment. But it was. You see, you helped me fully immerse myself into this character. I became a gay man. And I think it's really gonna pay off on screen. So this was all just a fucking acting class? Please keep your voice down. Why? Because you don't want people to think you're gay or you don't want people to know that you're a big fat liar. He's, you just call me fat? I called you a liar. I'm an actor. That's what we do. Oh, lie? We tell stories. We create characters. You know, I'm sorry if you didn't understand what was going on. <laughs> How was I supposed to understand what was going on when you never even bothered to explain it to me? And when, in fact, all this time, you've just been acting like you've been falling in love with me. Did you hear it? Hear what? <laughs> you said it. I acted like I was falling in love. So this was all just a game? I mean nothing to you. No, of course not. This wasn't a game at all. This is my career, okay? My passion, my craft. These last two months, I was falling in love with you. Okay, but that's over now. You can just turn that on. I'll always care for you. You're a terrific guy, truly. And if I was gay, I, mean, I totally oh, would've- Shut the up. We did everything together that two men can do. And that meant nothing? No. It means everything. I will always cherish those experiences. And you're not gay. Or bi. I'm human. I like sex. I enjoyed sex with you. But you have no desire to continue. It wouldn't be authentic to who I really am. Uh, to who you really are. Is that even a thing? Is there even a real person underneath the movie star? Honestly, it's hard to be sure. I'm going to go. Good luck with your movie. Thanks. And I, I wish you nothing but the best. <sighs> Fucking douchebag. You can hide from the red road. You're free to choose. Forgive me if I am turning. On all the same, forgive me if I have.